A consignment shop is filled with other people's treasures. When it comes to shopping for vintage and antique items, my strategy is I always like to take a big first pass, sort of soak it all in and see if anything grabs my eye. When I'm shopping, I tend to spend a lot of time touching things. I'm always opening all the drawers to see how well they slide. This one doesn't slide very well. You don't want to end up spending more money fixing it than it's worth. When it comes to upholstery, you need to make sure it's sturdy and stable. Things to look for. If you're gonna look at upholstered furniture, you gotta get in there, you gotta turn it upside down. Let's see, is it solid? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Don't buy anything wiggly. Wiggly, wobbly, or creaky is a bad idea. What I like about this chair is, it's a good scale to use as a guest chair. For $200 each, I'd buy these. Everybody loves the industrial look and are paying big price tags for things that look industrial. This actually is. That's kind of fun, huh? First? Maybe not. It doesn't match my outfit today. Art is very personal, so it has to speak to you. But if it does speak to you, often you can find it for a super good deal here. There's always trends when it comes to vintage and antique items, and I'd say right now, I feel like lanterns, original ones, authentic ones, are super hard to find. This, for me, has character. This has sculptural interest. This has great scale, original patina. I'm in, I'm sold. So the neat thing about consignment stores, especially stores like this, is there's a starting price. And then month by month, the longer it sits here, the cheaper it gets. So I love finding things like that. The last price on that was from last year, which means that at this point, it's half price. It's half of the cheapest price. Ooh, I see some dishes. If you're looking at dinnerware, check the back. See who the maker is, see if it lists the pattern name. That way you can look up what the value is online and see if the price they're asking is a better price or more expensive than it would cost you to buy it new. Inevitably, every time I go out vintage and consignment shopping, I find something. I don't need it. I can't think of a client who needs it, but for some reason I feel compelled that I should get it. As long as the wicker is in good shape, this is really important with wicker. If it's broken, if it's got a hole in it, do not buy it. The first one I've inspected is in great shape. I don't like the color, but I don't care because these can be resprayed any color you want. I don't care if I don't need them. I just am gonna buy them. Nobody loves a good deal more than I do.